Welcome everyone to Yoga with Aloha. My name is Cecilia and I am a yoga teacher based on Oahu. I've been a yoga practitioner for 20 plus years and I have been teaching yoga since 2004. Today I will guide you through a short morning practice that will get you going for your day. For this practice I invite you to utilize two blocks. If you don't have blocks at home, you are more than welcome to substitute those with your hydro flask bottle, perhaps even your canned food. For the seated position, you could utilize a folded beach towel. So with that being said, please let's get started. Roll out your mat and come to a kneeling position. Sit tall and comfortable. Root down through your feet, lift tall through your crown, soften your shoulders. And place your hands against your ribs and take a deep inhale through your nose as your rib basket widens into your hands. Exhale, soften and evenly let your rib basket melt into your center line. Continue to breathe in this way as to expand your lung capacity Calm your nervous system and presence yourself into this now moment. And then inhale, stretch your arms up to the sky. Exhale, soften your shoulders away from your ears. Take your right hand to hold below your left wrist. Reach up on in-breath. Exhale, side bend to the right on out-breath. Anchor through your sit bones as you turn your gaze towards your left bicep. Inhale back to center. Exhale, switch your grip. Lengthen tall on your in-breath from your root to rise. Exhale, lateral bend to the left. Hug your belly in. Turn your cheek to your bicep. Create space and steadiness. Inhale to center. Exhale, release your hands to your mat. Tend your hands in front, tuck your toes, shift your weight into your knees and come onto a standing forward fold, ragdoll pose. Your feet can be slightly wider than hips width. Knees are generously bent to support your torso to rest upon. Hold opposite forearm or elbow with your hands and gently sway from side to side. This relaxes your whole back line. Ground your finger pads, step your feet a little closer, once more generously bend your knees, curl your belly and your chin in and roll up vertebra by vertebra to come into an upright position. Reach your arms up to the sky, stand tall, touch your palms, look up if available and then exhale, draw your hands to your heart, samastihiti. Anchor from the ground up, engage your lower body to lighten and lift your upper body. Inhale, sweep your arms wide overhead, touch your palms, look up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from your hips, slide bend through your knees, relax your head. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen from crown to tail. Place your hands against your shins, navel draws in. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot back, release your knee and your foot to the earth. Inhale, rise up, Anjaneyasana, sweep your arms skyward. Exhale, contract front foot and back foot towards each other. Touch your palms, look to your thumbs and lengthen farther through your spine into a gentle back bend as comfortable. Exhale, down dog, ground your palms, step your feet to the back of your mat, hips width distance apart. Slide bend to your knees to lengthen your lower back. Inhale, roll through a plank pose, shoulders beyond your wrist. Exhale through low plank all the way into your tummy. Point your toes and then inhale, lift your heart into cobra. Take an extra breath here. Anchor your lower body, lift your heart. Exhale, lower rib by rib. Tuck your toes under. Inhale, press up through your knees. Exhale, down dog. Lift your hips up and back. Inhale, three-legged dog, float your right leg square. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot to your right thumb tip, release your left knee to the earth, flatten your foot. 
Inhale, Anjani Asana, upright your torso. Use your exhale to hug your belly in and sink into your deepest expression. Lift up through the sides of your waist as you open your heart from a stable base. Exhale, release your hands, step up to the top, standing forward fold. Ground your feet. Inhale, rise up, stretch your arms skyward. Exhale, hands to heart, samastihiti. Inhale, once more, sweep your arms wide and up. Exhale, fold over your thighs, a deep hinge from your hips. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen from crown to tail. Tone your abdomen. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot back, release your knee. Press down through the earth, inhale, rise up, Anjaneyasana. And then with your exhalation, sink your hips, lift your heart and deepen your back bend. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog, step back. Inhale through a plank pose, shoulders beyond your wrist. Exhale, low plank onto your belly, point your toes. Engage your lower body as you lift your chest wide and your collarbones. Exhale, release chest and forehead. Tuck your toes, inhale from your core, press up through your knees. Exhale, down dog and create an upside down V shape with your body. Anchor your heels as you lift your hips. Inhale, three-legged dog, float your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot to your left thumb tip. Release your back knee. Contract front foot and back shin as you rise up into Anjaneyasana. Inhale. Use your exhale to steady your body, maybe touch your palms and deepen your back bend. Keep the length in your waist. And exhale, release your hands and step up to the very top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, rise up. Exhale, samastihi T, hands to heart. Breathe deep. Inhale, chair pose, hinge at your hips, reach your arms alongside your ears and use your exhale to ground your feet, hug your belly and your front ribs in. Option to bring your arms parallel to the ground to alleviate tension in your neck and shoulders. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana, hinge and bow. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step your right foot, then your left foot back. Strong arms and hands press down and forward to lift your hips up and back. Lower down onto your knees. Tuck your toes, come onto your fingertips to strengthen the muscles around your wrist this time. And then inhale, find cow pose, arch your spine. Exhale, cat pose, round your spine. Twice more, inhale from your sitting bones, swing them back, heart forward, gaze up. Exhale, tailbone relaxes, belly in, chin to chest. Inhale, arch your spine. Exhale, round your spine. And then find a neutral tabletop. Hug your belly in, stretch your right leg back, like a plank pose leg and lengthen your tail, hug your belly in. Then extend your left arm alongside your ear with your thumb face up, hug arm bone and leg bone in. Option to lift your right leg parallel to the ground, spinal balance. With your exhale, hug your knee and elbow towards your body. And then inhale, elongate once more. Exhale, draw in, navel to spine, knee and elbow in. Last round, inhale. Exhale, hug in. Inhale, extend. With your exhale, release your left hand and tuck your right toes under. Come into a modified side plank. Swing your left chin bone out. And ground the sole of your right foot. Stretch your right arm up. And then find one line from crown to tail to back heel. And from your core, lift your right leg parallel. On your exhale, squeeze your heel to your glute and then bring your knee close to capture the top of your shin or foot. And then press your foot back into your hand. Let your gaze go down for more balance. And breathe into the opening of your chest and your right hip flexor. Inhale, release. 
Exhale, circle your hand down, come back to your original position. Ground your palms, hug your left knee in, and then step your left foot through. Scissor front foot and back foot towards each other as you rise up into a high crescent on your in-breath. Use your exhale to lengthen your tail. Lift up through your side body, hold your wrist and arc over to the left. Continue stable base. Inhale back to center. Exhale, warrior two, widen your stand. Bring your arms parallel and ground your feet. Front heel to back arch alignment. Squeeze your left buttock under and lift your heart. Inhale, straighten both legs and arms. Exhale, return back into warrior two, twice more. Inhale, straighten both legs, lift tall. Exhale, warrior two, one more time. This dynamic movement highlights key actions within your body and also enhances circulation. And straighten your front leg on your inhale. Exhale, triangle pose. Release your left hand either to the ground or use your block to lift the earth closer to strengthen your lower body. Activate the muscles in your legs and your hips to support your spine to open to the long edge of your mat as you lengthen from earth to sky. Breathe deep. Then take your top hand to your hip, bend your front knee, Set your block in front and step your back foot close. Both hands to your block, spike into your left heel and square your hips into an L-shaped position first. Find a slight bend through your standing knee, then open your right hip like you did a moment ago in your modified side plank. Option to stay with both hands on blocks or take your right hand to your hip to further open your chest and abdomen. Extend your right arm at the end. Continue on, heel to seat, and grab the top of your foot, and then open once more, chest and hip flexor into this variation of half moon. With your inhale, return to center, square your hips, L shape, exhale, knee to nose, into standing forward fold, hinge and bow. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, deepen your pose as you draw your weight into your heels and then fold back into your legs. Lengthen halfway. Exhale, down dog, left foot steps, right foot steps. Take a moment to ground and neutralize your body. Then release your knees to the earth. Tend your hands, tone your abdomen. Round your spine and this time move through a barrel roll with your ribs. Reaching your ribs out to one side and sweeping it over and up to the other. And continue in this way in both direction to further stretch the muscles between your ribs to enhance your lung capacity, which will invigorate your whole being. Then come into neutral and step your left leg back. Activate from head to tail. Reach your right arm along your ear with your thumb up and find spinal balance. Heel in alignment with your seat. Take an inhale. Exhale, hug into your center line for strong core. Reach long, expand, inhale. Exhale, hug in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hug in. So find your center within this asymmetry. Inhale, spinal balance. Exhale, release your right hand and tuck your left toes under and open into a modified side plank. Take your time. Right foot is the kickstand, left foot anchors down. One line between left foot, right knee and right hand. Stabilize through your core as you lift your left leg parallel and kick your heel actively to your seat and bend your knee in. Capture your foot and then lengthen your knee out to the back of your mat. Press your foot back into your hand to open across your chest and along your left hip flexor. Release on your inhale. Exhale, lower hand and foot. Return back to your original position. Then hug your knee into your nose and step your right foot to your right thumb tip. Inhale, rise up into a high crescent. Use your exhale to settle your body. 
upright your pelvis, maybe a soft bend through your back knee. And hold your left wrist with your right hand lengthen. Exhale, side bend to the right. Breathe length and space into your whole left side. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, warrior two. Reground and widen your stance as you bring your arms parallel to the ground. Press your feet down and out and squeeze your thighs in for an active and solid base. Inhale, straighten both legs, lift your arms. Exhale, warrior two. Let your right knee point straight ahead. Continue to do this exercise a few rounds to enhance circulation, body awareness, to highlight key action for your balancing pose. And then reach out into triangle on your next exhale. Ground your right hand either to the earth or to a block. You can narrow or widen your stand depending on your stability. And then reach into all direction, down into the earth, up to the sky, and out. Prepare for half moon by placing your left hand onto your block, lifting your leg, but then squaring your hips first to find a neutral L shape to activate all musculature that will support your half moon pose and the opening to the left side. And turn your left hip out, squeeze your right buttock under, Add your left arm or keep your hands on your blocks. Continue if you wish. Kick your heel to your glute, capture your foot, and then press your foot straight back into your hand as you keep your knee and hip in balance. Release your leg, square your hips, hands to blocks, inhale, exhale, Left knee to nose, round your spine into a standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deep. Sink your hips. Inhale, chair pose. Stay for your exhale. Then reach your arms behind you. Interlace your fingers at the small of your back. Keep your elbows bent and bring your heel palms as close together as you can. Rise up as you ground through your feet. Lift your heart. Lengthen your tail. Look up. And then exhale. Rebend your knees. Fold into your Uttanasana with your chest expansion. Reach your knuckle at a diagonal as you release your hands to the mat. Step, step into plank. Lower, upward facing dog or cobra, shoulders back, heart up, exhale downward facing dog, neutralize your body, take a cleansing breath, inhale, smooth rhythmic exhale, and come down onto your knees one more time, gather your blocks, to come upright to stand on your knees, then place your blocks to the outside of your shins or ankle bones. We prepare for camel pose. Anchor your shoulders over your hips. Lift up through your heart. And then place your hands at your sacrum with your fingers down and your thumbs out. Ground through your feet and your shins. Lengthen your glute as you lift your heart up and forward. Anchor your shoulder blades onto your back. Then place your hands onto your ribs one more time. Use your thumb to lengthen and lift your back ribs up. Feel the length of your lower body as you replace your hands back onto your seat. Option to stay or bring your hands to your blocks. Press your fingertips down into your blocks to lift your heart farther up. And lengthen your neck and your gaze. To release, look forward, place your hands at your seat, upright your torso. And then with your exhale, release your hips back into hero's pose onto your blocks between your feet. Take a moment to settle as you rest your hands onto your thighs. Breathe. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, simple twist to the right. Place your left hand to the outside of your right thigh. Right hand as a kickstand behind you. Or place your palm against your seat as you move your seat into your hand 
to deepen your rotation of your spine. Counter turn your head and your neck to find a little more stretch in the right side of your neck. Then inhale back to center. Exhale here. Reach your arms up on your in breath. Exhale, simple twist to the left, right hand to the outside of your thigh, left hand as a kickstand to keep your spine tall. Option to ground your hand at your seat. Twist from your belly and then turn your head to the opposite shoulder to deepen the stretch in your left side neck. Gaze forward and then rest your hands. Release your seat from your block. Slide your hips then to one side to reach your legs in front of you. Scooch slightly forward on your mat. Prepare to lie down. Reach your arms forward, energize your core and lower down vertebra by vertebra. From here, place your feet and then hug your knees into your chest. A moment to release your lower back. Then reground your feet. Stretch your right leg up on your inhale. Exhale, figure four. Anchor your outer ankle against your left thigh. You can stay here or interlace your fingers around the back of your left thigh and hug your knees in. Continue to widen your right knee as you hug your left knee in. Option to deepen by clasping your hands around your shin. Soften your shoulders, lengthen your tail. Breathe deep. Release your left foot, extend your right leg, and lower your right foot down. Switch side, left leg reaches, open and then cross ankle over thigh to stretch your outer left hip muscles. Hug your right knee in, choose the interlace of your fingers either behind your thigh or around your shin, and continue to keep your feet active to stabilize your joints. Soften your shoulders, heavy your tail, and breathe deep into your left outer hip stretch. Gradually release, straighten your leg and release both feet. Then hug your right knee in, interlace your fingers around your shin, stretch your left leg long in front of you. Prepare for a supine twist, open your right arm to the side, guide your top knee across your body, as you relax through your right shoulder and through your breath. Return back to center, rebend your knees, hug your right knee in once more, and then release your right foot. Hug your left knee in, extend your right leg long, keep your right leg active, prepare for a spinal twist. Open your left arm to the side, Guide your left knee with your right hand across your body and continue to press your knee slightly up into your hand to keep your pelvis stable. Breathe across your chest and then release. Rebend your right knee, hug your left knee once more in and both feet come to the earth. Then hug both knees in into a supine child's pose as your knees widen and your big toes come together. Wrap your arms around your legs and then press your knees wide as you hug your shins down with your arms. This will widen and ease your lower back and traction your pelvis away from your waist. And then release your whole body, stretch your legs long and prepare for Shavasana, a moment of deep rest. Relax from your jaw, through your neck, through your shoulders, all the way down your body into your toes. And slowly return to your breath. 
And as you deepen and widen your breath, begin to awaken your body by moving your fingers, your toes, and stretching your full body. When you're ready, bend your knees and roll over to your right side into a fetal position. When you're ready, press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Sit tall. Bring your hands to your heart and take a moment to honor your practice, your body, your breath. Namaste. Thanks for watching Yoga with Aloha. We're always coming up with new content, and if you like what you see, like and subscribe.